here we are in Cade's Cove. This is where Alan Cade came when he was nine years old and he wrestled a she-bear to the ground and they started singing campfire songs about him. After 10 years um, of settling here, people, people moved out because the accommodations were too, <laughs> were too small. Okay, I'm standing in Cade's Cove Primitive Baptist Church three years after Alan Cade subdued the she-bear. He returned and started this congregation. And as you can see, it's pretty primitive, but Alan built this all by hand uh, when he was 12 years old. So uh, this is just another fun fact of Cade's Cove, Tennessee. Okay, two years after Alan started the Primitive Baptist Church, he started to explore Arminianism and moved down the road, and founded this, the Methodist Church. The neat contribution for the Methodist Church is that instead of having one door, it had two doors. So Brother Allen figured that twice as many people could get in, which uh, didn't hold true for very long. They soon abandoned this one. I'll tell you more of that story later. All right, this is the reason the Methodist Church here that Allen started fell into deep decline. The hyper-Arminianism caused all these people to really doubt their salvation and the anxiety caused heart attacks, strokes, and many other uh, maladies that led to the decline of the population here in Cates Cove. After the failure of the Methodist Church in Cade Cove, Cades Cove, Tennessee, Allen moved two miles down the road to start the Missionary Baptist Church. And having felt the missionary, the Macedonian call, he gathered his congregation here. Uh, mostly, mostly ex-members of the Primitive Baptist, they got tired of foot washing. So here, Alan promised them no more foot washing, and they would do missionary endeavors. So they started their mission to the rest of East Tennessee from this missionary Baptist. Part of Brother Allen's missionary endeavors included digging up some of the bodies from the Methodist Church and relocating them here to the Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, it was a sign of church growth. It was also a sign that things were really weird in Tennessee. When Alan was 15 years old, he had a vision about how water could power his life. And he invented this. And he turned this into a, a water mill where he produced flour and other substances that required grinding. And he was also tired of the log cabin that he was living in. So he built this frame two-story cabin for himself. It was an extraordinary feat for uh, such a young man, but he was industrious. And that's why we call this place Cade's Cove. Okay, I'm standing outside the last house that Alan Cade built when he came and founded Cave's Code. Now, in the language of the people who lived here before him, it was uh, it was not Cave's Code, Code but uh, on the 10th anniversary of his killing of the she-bear, uh, he built this house and the people, the mountain people uh, who loved him came and named this Cave's Cove and um, they built a visitor center so you can buy memorabilia of his slaying of the she-bear and other adventures. They sing campfire songs about him, the churches that he established, and the, uh, the mark that he left. So this has been a great adventure in Cades Cove, Tennessee.